Oh hey, how's it going? It's Kevin Tilf with JK on the Run. I'm just playing with my iPhone here. I can't get over how much fun it's always been to be scrolling with one finger and that kinetic action where you just kind of grab and let it go and just rides right up like that. Really fun. Well, there's been a lot of talk about the multi-touch on uh, MacBooks that are hopefully coming, MacBook Pros, MacBook Air has it, MacBooks themselves. Today I found something really interesting. It kind of reminded me a lot of the the way we use Internet Explorer on a Vista tablet where we can kind of drag a web page and things like that. What I'm talking about is an application. Uh, it's a third-party app, costs $19, and it's called Smart Scroll X. At least I think it's X. It might be Smart Scroll 10. I don't know. But I wanted to give it to you uh, here in a quick video overview. It's the kind of thing that you really got to see as opposed to reading about it. So let me just flip the camera and get you over to my MacBook where you can see I've got... JK on the run up and also a preference pane for smart scroll. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. Let me pull the uh, pull the frame in just a bit. All right, maybe too much there. Okay, I'm using my uh, Apple Bluetooth mouse, although you can use the the touchpad on a MacBook for this or a MacBook Pro. And I've got Smart Scroll X installed, and it gives you that kinetic scrolling. I'm going to just scroll down using the the um, oh, there we go. The button on my mouse. This is just my standard scrolling. But if I scroll and let go, scroll and let go, you can see the kinetic action where it's kind of going a little bit longer than after I let go of the mouse button. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring the preferences for smart scroll and let's they call it coasting. I'm going to make the coasting like three quarters of the way, and let's do the same thing. Coasting a little bit more. I'm just kind of flicking the, the button right on my Bluetooth mouse. I can even speed up that. Let's speed it up a little bit. And actually let's add a little more coasting. There we go. Now it's now you can go bug eyed, just kinda of staring at things go I got to the bottom of the page. Staring at things here. You can just kinda of keep going and going. Um, remember I said at the very beginning, it kind of reminds me of using a tablet with Vista, um, like say an IE, where we can actually grab, if you can see the cursor, it's on the picture of the, oh actually, click the picture, my fault. You can see now I've got it, I've grabbed it. And the way I've done that is I've configured my mouse button, the middle mouse button, the scroll wheel on the mouse, uh, to actually grab and scroll. And what's really neat is I can kind of scroll up and let go of that button and kind of just throws the page. Very much like using a tablet PC in IE7, for example. Here, I've got hold of this picture. Well, it looks like I've got hold of the picture. I've got hold of the page. And I can just do the kinetic scrolling. So that's pretty funky. What's really nice is, let me get to the top of the page here. If I scroll up on my trackpad or, or uh, scroll wheel, I'm scrolling up, the page goes up. I can go in smart scroll, because I've probably got you dizzy enough, and reverse the scroll wheel. So that way now, when I go here and go up, it doesn't go up because the page is already up. Now I've got it reversed, and it's kind of like a regular scroll. So you can kind of make it iPhone-like if you want. You could reverse it if you want. Uh, it does both X and Y axis. You can change the speeds. Let me just give you a quick quick look at the preferences. You have more or less coasting as we've already demonstrated anymore and I'm sure you're going to get seasick and I don't want that. You can make the scroll wheel faster. Hold down the option button to go super fast. I really like to do that but I don't want people getting upset with me so I won't. And again you can reverse the X and Y axis. Grab scroll was what I was showing as well and I've got it configured for uh, my middle button on my Bluetooth mouse, my Mighty Mouse, but you can change that if you've got different type of mouse, change the different buttons, maybe you have a seven button mouse, I only have five fingers so I don't know who's using seven buttons, but whatever. Um, you can use the key keyboard and the primary button as well. Again, you can change the amount of kinetic scrolling or coasting. You've got different scroll keys, so you can keyboard control it. So, as you can see, it's, you know, very easy to add, very easy to configure. Um, zoom back out for a second. I'm not going to get anybody dizzy anymore. But uh, 
if you want to add that type of kinetic scrolling, Smart Scroll X is probably worth a look. It does cost, as I said at the very beginning, $19. I've got a, a demo version right now. I don't know how long it's going to run before that expires. But uh, and, and $19, you know, as I was thinking about doing this video, for some people it's just not going to be worth it. Heck, some people might not even want this feature, and that's fine. Uh, but if you do want it, it is available to you from a third party. Is it worth $19? Obviously, that's up to you to decide. I'm not so sure it would be for me. I think maybe at $9.99, $10, it might be worth it. $20? I don't know. Um, I'll keep watching it because it's still in development. Uh, does work with other apps too. I was using it with Safari, but I used it earlier to scroll through uh, the source of an XML feed. Don't ask me why. These are the things I do with my free time. Um, but it was easy, right, in text edit, for example, to just fly through and zip around real easy. It looks like it supports native Cocoa applications at this point, but I expect that to change in the future. And uh, again, 1995, Smart Scroll X. If you want that kinetic kind of scrolling and uh, make people dizzy like I do, then give it a shot. All righty. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.